Well, hello, Internet. David Wine from Gnome Tech here. Today, I'm going to walk you through Turtle VR, an interesting demo that we've put together. Oh, who do we have here? Hello, traveler, and welcome to the Grove. My name is RB66, the keeper of turtles. Your turtle today is the leaf. Thanks, RB66. So, apparently we have Lily down here on the ground, waiting for our instructions. Fortunately, I have exactly what I need here to program Lily to do some drawing for me. Lily is what we call a turtle. Using this tablet here, I can program our turtle to draw within the space in front of us, in all three dimensions. I'm using the Razor Hydra to interact with the world. It'd be great if we could get this running on the Vive or Oculus Touch, being able to walk around what we're about to create, I think would be really amazing. In my left hand here is the tablet in which we are running Google Blockly. This allows me to drag out blocks to form a program. We'll show you here. Click and drag out a block. Now we also have a numpad on our tablet and a keypad. I can bring those out with these buttons here, or I also have buttons on my left hand Razor Hydra that I can use to bring those out. These allow me to enter values when needed. So let's build a short program for a Lily. What we're going to do is draw a few circles on the ground and uh, We'll start off with some of these blocks, the repeater blocks. We'll do this then uh, eight times here. And uh, we'll get Lily then to move forward uh, maybe 20 units. Now I have the tablet here attached onto my hand, so I, I can hold it and move them both at the same time. However, I don't need to have my hand here in front of me all the time. I can actually lock this in place by pulling the trigger, and now my left hand is free. I can just put that down to my side. Uh, so let's see. We have uh, Lily moving, and then we're going to want her to uh, rotate as well. Go ahead and do that 45 degrees. Great. Um, now we're going to have a bunch of cylinders here that we're going to draw. So let's move that pen up. Okay, and then uh, let's see, we're going to move Lily up, uh, let's see, by 10 units I think, okay, so we'll move her up here by, uh, yeah, 10 units is good, and we'll put the pen back down, this is so that she doesn't draw while doing that move, so we'll just have our cylinders. I'll put it back down again. Okay, great. So I'll, let's uh, now take our tablet here, and uh, which I reattached onto my Razor Hydra. We'll get rid of the numpad. We'll lock it over here for us. Okay, and we got the run button here. So we'll go ahead and do run and see what happens here. Well, there she goes. Now over here we can also go ahead and uh, let's make this something more like. 50. Okay. We'll go ahead and run this now. There we go. And uh, if we want to make it taller, then we just uh, change how many times we're repeating it. So we'll make it 20 times. Create 20 of these circles here to form our cylinder. Great. So with our drawing complete here, we can actually view it from different angles. Uh, there's these different teleport pads that are around us that we can jump to. So we can jump to this one over here just by pulling trigger. And now we can see there's RB66 there, so we're at the side. And then there's one on the other side there. And we can go to this one here. Now we're on the opposite side here. Okay. Now I just realized that my tablet, it's over there. Uh, I've left it behind. See, I don't have it in my hand. Uh, but all we need to do then is pull the trigger, and it'll come to us. Come on, tablet. Come on over here. There we go. Great. So let's load up a new program here. Take a look. 
Uh, let's load up the 3D Spiral. We'll go ahead and run that. There we go. Great. Now we also have some options here in viewing uh, our drawings. Uh, here we have it so each line has a is a random color. Um, that's this line here, it's choosing a random color. But we can go ahead and we can cycle all these colors then. So it's just doing hue rotation on each of them. And then we can also uh, change the hue over the length of the entire drawing. Go ahead and do that. Get some pretty cool effects like that. And of course, we can go in the drawing by teleporting to the center pad. That's where it would be amazing to be able to walk around our drawing and uh, take a look, see exactly what we've done, and explore it further. So why don't we take a look at some more programs that uh, the demo comes with, and you'll be able to explore on your own.